Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Who's ready to shoot some hoops? Hello, my fellow Latter-day Saints. Ken Z. Radcho here, and welcome to the 2019 Rocket League NBA Playoffs. We're finally getting underway with the playoffs, and oh boy, business is about to pick up. So here we go. Best of seven series. And just the one goal within the five minute time period. So before we get into before we get into proceedings, we have got the teams to get through. We've got the mill from First off, we've got, from the Eastern Conference, we've got the Milwaukee Bucks, 2018 third place finish last year. Detroit Pistons making their second appearance this season, uh, this year. Boston Celtics, the Indiana Pacers, finishing third twice, once in 2016 and in 2017. The Philadelphia 76ers, the Brooklyn Nets are newcomers this year. The Toronto Raptors making their fourth consecutive appearance and of course, the Orlando Magic making their debut appearance this season. We've got two newcomers, three all-star teams, three teams that have made an appearance in every single NBA playoff since we started this. From the Western Conference, we've got the Golden State Warriors, the LA Clippers who are the 2016 runners-up, the Houston Rockets finished fourth in 2016 and then the following year went on to become runners up. The Utah Jazz twice finishing fourth in 2017 and last year. The Portland Trailblazers, the Oklahoma City Thunder, the Denver Nuggets, the only newcomer from the Western Conference and last year's defending champions, the San Antonio Spurs. So, five all-star teams from the Golden, from the Western Conference making all four appearances so far. So, let's get let's get on the way with our first match of the day. The Milwaukee Bucks and the Detroit Pistons. So the Milwaukee Bucks, this is their third appearance in the playoffs. Detroit Pistons, this is their second appearance. And like I say, it's a best of seven series. And there we go, there's the tip-off. The Pistons win the tip-off. They have the advantage. Oh, oh, demolition from Retro right out of the gate on Hollywood. That's all that. Very exciting sport, basketball. Um, at time of recording, we're going to be commencing the conference finals in the actual NBA playoffs. The Toronto Raptors earlier this week getting through to the playoff for the conference finals with a buzzer beater against who were they against? The Philadelphia 76ers, I believe. And indeed it was, 92 points to 90. So, the conference finals get underway 2 a.m. tomorrow morning. We'll have the Golden State Warriors against the Portland Trailblazers and the Milwaukee Bucks against the Toronto Raptors. Could we get a feeling of deja vu? Or 
will we have the unpredictability that these playoffs have so often delivered in Rocket League? Hard to believe this game's been out three years now. Four, four years even. And it's still going strong today. Absolutely fantastic. Great work there. About halfway through this first game. Oh, there's Retro with the shot. Oh, and it wasn't to be. It wasn't to be. Ah, hey-ho. These things happen. Oh, he does a little backflip. Trying to add a little pizzazz. It wasn't to be. Oh, that oh, bit of a miss. Oh, that was a neat. That was a potentially costly mistake there. Retro tried to go for the shot. But it wasn't to be. Oh! And the Bucks almost deliver there. Retro, almost did all off the rim. Bounces off the rim, unbelievable. Unbelievable, there's about a minute and a half to go. Heads up, off the rim. And that's first blood to the Pistons. Myrtle with the assist. Samara getting the goal, getting the basket off the rim, as it off the backboard, ricochets off the rim. And that's first blood. Now on to game number two. Pistons are going to have a big momentum boost because Milwaukee Bucks were the top seed in the East, the Eastern Conference. The Pistons, the lowest seeded team in the conference. And oh my goodness me! Hey, ho! And that's two! Roundhouse credited with the assist. Oh, careless mistake there from Rainmaker, but Poncho gets credited, and that's two games to the Pistons. Poncho went for it. Wasn't to be. Wait just a minute! And Bandit makes it three! Are we on the verge of a clean sweep here? Boomer credited with the assist. And that shot was from downtown. Oh, here we go. Retro's favorite position. You know what that means. Oh, oh and he fluffed it. Oh, he's got his favorite position to start from. Oh, man. That is unfortunate. If the Bucks are going to have any chance in these, in these playoffs, they are going to need to deliver, and deliver fast. Retro went for the shot there, went for the two-pointer. Wasn't to be. Oh, heads up, oh, off the rim.
There's almost one there for the box. Demolition there, Rainmaker on Goose. Oh, heads up! Great defensive work there from the Pistons! Will the Bucks get one game back? Just like in a previous game. Off the backboard, ricochets off the rim. And that's one for the Bucks. The series stands at 3-1. Heads up. That'll take some pressure off the shoulders of the pistol of the Bucks. Ooh. You've got to think the advantage is still with the Pistons. Oh, and Retro went for it. Wasn't to be. Dentist demolishing Merlin there. Retro missed. Oh, oh, and another demolition. One on Sentis this time. Oh, and that's off the rim. Great defensive work there from Retro. Oh, heads up! Is that it? Great shot from Raja! And that is game over! A downtown shot secures the Pistons a place in the conference semi-finals. Next up, the Boston Celtics and the Indiana Pacers. Salty, wait a whoa! Oh, oh! Well, that didn't last. That didn't take long. Slams it in, and that's one for the Celtics. And there's Retro! What? What? From downtown! <laughs> wow! 2 0 to the Celtics! That definitely didn't last long. Last time. The Celtics on fire right now. Wait just a minute! Oh, 
from the outside, Jay. And he gets, and he makes it three for the Celtics. And Rachel, what? <laughs> I mean, that was out of... Oh, it's a huge mistake there. Outlaw credited with the assist. And there you go. A 4-0 clean sweep. All over in like three minutes. Next up, the 76ers and the Nets. Philadelphia 76ers, their second appearance in the playoffs. And the Brooklyn Nets, it's their debut in the Rocket League NBA playoffs. They want to make a good first impression, but not like this. And the 76ers already take the first game. Retro's favorite position. You know what this means. Shot on go. Oh! And he still scores it anyway! Off the rim. Ricochets onto the backboard. Just like that. The 76ers 2 0 up. Hang on just a minute! Brilliant defensive work there from Dude! Just like that, that's how it's done! Oh, that's a, that could be a costly mistake! Off the rim, and it doesn't go in. And Sentis makes it three. Oh, 
on to game four now. Could we be on the verge of another clean sweep? Went the wrong way. Demolition there on Storm from Retro. Ooh, knocks into the rim. Luckily, he's okay. Another demolition on Storm. Does Retro have a vendetta against Storm today? Who knows? One game left to win for the 76ers. At this point, they will be praying they don't have a rematch against the Indiana, uh, the Toronto Raptors in the uh, conference semifinals. Oh boy! And Retro, oh, off the rim. Retro went for the shot, but it bounced off the rim. The shot was no good. Here come the Nets. grand scheme of things retro definitely deserved that oh and that's payback payback for the demolition earlier oh my Could say they were, you could say they're both even, but the truth is they're not. Retro's demolished Storm three times. Storm's only demolished Retro once, so that's Storm's negative two. Thirty seconds left. Done there from Retro. 
10 seconds left. This game could go to overtime. It's more than likely going to. Unless... Wait a minute! That would have been a brilliant buzzer beater. And another demolition from Retro on Caveman. Five minutes of overtime. Not if Retro has anything to do with it! Unbelievable. of action down at the uh, nets basket yep it's confirmed retro has a vendetta retro has a vendetta against storm today that's four demolitions they've got on him now Went for it. It was a miss. About two minutes left. Still no sign of any change. As I say that, the 76ers win the game in overtime. Khan credits it with the assist, it's C-Block with the basket. The basket that puts the 76ers into the conference semi-finals. Last game in the Eastern Conference today, the Toronto Raptors and the Orlando Magic. The Raptors making their fourth appearance, the Orlando Magic making their debut here. Oh, a bit of a mistake from the teammates there, and whoa! Dunked in just like that! Slams it in, and the Magic go one up.
And that's one. The Raptors level the series. Skimmed off Squall. And there it is. And that is a brilliant shot. It bounce off, bounce off from him twice. Hollywood with the assist. And Raja, 2-1 to the Raptors. And you've got to take those risks when you can. And oh my goodness, it paid off. Unfortunate there from Retro. He really wanted that basket, but it not to be on this occasion. And that is Poncho making it three for the Raptors. There's Retro, takes the shot and secures the series for the Raptors. It's deja vu for the 76ers. Deja vu, I've just been in this place.